What's good? Who's up in here? Bass Rot, what up, homie? Ride or die belly, what's good? What up, homie? Today, tonight, I'm not getting on the MP. What I'm doing is going to be interviewing my dude, Jay DePina. How many of y'all heard of Jay DePina? Let me know. What's good, Max Money? Yo, what up, Zach Joe? How was making the West Nile album? It was good, man. We uh we built on it a couple times over the phone. Sent him some beats. He was feeling them. And uh, we just went from there. Danny Music, yeah. What's up? Brianne, what up? Gary, my dude, what up? Mike, what's good, homie? All right, so tonight, the purpose of tonight's IG Live is to interview my homie Jay DePina. He's uh, he's nasty on the NPC. I would suggest if you're a fan of what I do or other dudes on IG that are posting beat videos, if you're not already following Jay DePina, you go ahead and um, follow him, Jay DePina. There he is. Let me see if I can get him up in here. Here we go. Jay. Oh, what up, man? What up? Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, here you go, man. Everybody say what's up to Jay DePina. What up? Let me give a brief introduction. If you don't, if anyone watching doesn't know why this dude is on my IG Live, it's because he is nasty as fuck on the NPC. I've been, I'm trying to think, the first time I probably heard of you, bro, or seen your videos was maybe like a year ago, maybe around that time. Um, yeah, a little long, a little longer than a year ago, yeah. yeah, it's been a little, year, maybe, yeah. I don't remember exactly how long, all I remember is the first time I seen you, I was like, damn, this dude's nasty. So, yeah, and then we kind of, we kind of been building ever since then. Um, yeah. Aside from the dude being nasty on the NPC, he's a good fucking dude. I'll tell a quick story, then we'll get into it. About uh, in October or September, my NPC 2000 XL shit the bed. And um, I'm in an apartment, right? I'm going through a divorce. So I didn't have my spare NPC 2000, which Blackistan, rest in peace, Blackistan gave me. Peace. Yeah, rest in peace, Black. Um, so I'm like, fuck, what am I going to do? So I bought an NPC one. And this dude, Jada Pina, taught me how to use the NPC one. And like, He's that good of a teacher. In like two days, I'm like up and running. So thank you for that, bro. Absolutely, man. You know that. You know that was enough. Okay. Yeah, and you got that quick too because it's like when you when you, I mean, you had the XL for years. That's like me with my 2000. Yeah, I had that since '97. You know. Yeah. And it's it's the same thing, man. You know, it's just it's a a digital like more. Well, the MPC 2000 XL is digital. I consider it more analog than what we're using today, though, you know? Yeah. Like, some, I feel like I'm on a computer with this thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. It's, it's nice and big. You know, we had those little screens, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, man. So, yeah, let's get into it. Um, Okay, you said you've had that uh, 2000 since 97. When did you start making beats, bro? I started making beats... I mean, first, I, I got into music when I was a kid because my pops, you know what I'm saying? Well, my tell, pops us, was, tell us about that. Yeah, yeah. He was in a Cape Verdean band back in the 70s and 80s, and uh, he used to do, like, local shows out in Rhode Island. So me and my sister would jump on stage with shakers and all this, you know, tambourines. And uh, my father always wanted me to play, like, guitar, drums. He was always buying me instruments, but I wasn't really that good. You know what I'm saying? And um, I remember I begged my mother for a, a turntable when I was like 10 or something like that. And, you know, I started, jow, wait, jow, wait. you know, the, you know, and my, I remember my turntable came with like the little tape cassette. Yep. And then you remember doing like the tape looping and oh, all that. Yeah. And then um, when I really got into beat making was like, in, it, like when I got, took a series was like kind of in my later teens. Uh, my boy DJ Infinite gave me this old, um, like, uh, Gemini 12, uh, no, 24-second sampler. 
it had like four banks on it. You know, it was like did yay it, big. Did, like it have, did, it, did it have like stock sounds too, or was it just just a no, no? It was a straight sampler, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah straight sampler, and um. Yeah, it was cool, man. And I remember my, yo, to this day, I still remember, like, the first loop that I made on that machine. I took, it was Isaac Hayes, and I took a drum break from, like, this drum break record I bought in, like, 96 or 90, yeah, like, 96. And uh, I looped it, and I thought I made a masterpiece. Hell yeah, bro. Yo! It was literally, like, a one-bar loop, and I was like, yo! At that time, I was young, man. Like, I, you know, I had kids young, and I was, uh, uh, I was out in Taunton at the time, you know what I mean? Yeah, I moved yeah. from mass and Shout i remember people everybody i'm like yo listen to this and they're like yo how'd you do you know yeah. but yeah, man, that's how we got started and then in 97 i bought that the mpc 2000 okay you know, that's like my i don't know six or seventh one i had from that time yeah you know and um and then i moved on to the mpc studio it was like 2000 2017 i believe now did you, and then did I, you move because of necessity or did you just want to upgrade like were you forced to because they started breaking on you, or were you like... You know what? I talked to two of my dudes, man, out of, v uh, out of VA. Uh, my man Ologist and my man Disco Dave, and they had, like, switched over, and they were XL heads. Okay. And I spoke to them, and, and I remember my man Disco Dave was just like, yo, if you get into, like, the studios or the one or the live or whatever was out at that time, he's like, you're going to pick it up. And, bro, when I first got it, it's like you, and you hit me up. I'm like, yo, you're going to get it, Stu. And you're like, yo, what the fuck? You know what I mean? But <laughs> not even an hour later, bro, you had it. You know what I'm saying? Thanks to you, but, bro. Thanks to you. Oh, yo, I appreciate it. Yeah, man. But like I said, I knew you were going to pick that up. Remember when you texted me? You were like, yo, I got the one, and you should send me the picture. I was like, what? I was like, yeah, man. I was like, word, that's good. But it, it, it is, like to me, yeah, I wanted to, like, like you know, everybody was saying the whole uh what it, workflow the workflow is better this and that i got it because i was sick and tired of saving on uh, discs to tell you the truth yeah i got so many like floppy discs just laying around boxes and i would go load up a beat and it'd be dead you know what i mean I'm like oh disc read you know disc read error oh yeah that's like the blue screen to people that don't know on an npc when you try to load a beat and it says disc read error it that's means, like the it means you just put in mad work for nothing that's it. That's it. Peaks, <laughs> yo. And I would make a beat, and I'd be like, yo, this shit's fire. You know, the next day, come load it up. And, you know, it was on a 1.44 floppy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And all that. And I was just flicking, you know, flicking discs around my room. I'm in and <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, yeah, bro. Like, yeah, seriously. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, man, I mean, I, I like it. I, I mean, like, I, I, I told you, I treat it almost like it's the 2000 you know what i mean yeah i don't use the software much the only time i do use a software on the on the screen is like if i'm gonna do like a little like you know a video or something to show like you know like a tutorial or something yeah, you know yeah. what i mean yeah or when i'm gonna like export beats yep that i use it but everything is done on here like i use it literally like i'm on that I you know what same, i mean i do the same thing yeah yeah no, and, and, and and after a while it just and it is though it is I don't want to use that workflow thing, Stu, but it is quicker. Yo. It is. I mean, it's a lot quicker, a you lot know? A lot quicker. Yeah, but, um, yeah, man, that's how I got to, you know, jumping on these joints, you know? Yeah, man. Word, I wanted to ask you, um, who are some artists that you've produced for that come to mind? That come to mind quick. Uh, so, like, in 2020 and 2021, that was probably, like, my – my biggest like years, man, of like producing for like you know names. You know what I mean. I've always been like the local producer, and yeah, I, uh, my man JF, DJ JF. He's actually Master Ace's DJ. He gave me an opportunity in a half, bro. And you know, I produced his whole his album, believe it or not. And uh, that was the name of it, believe it or not. Word. And uh, Master Ace, I produced the joint for on there. Torre. Word. Wordsworth giant right there i love wordsworth um this kid pearl gates I uh, Is he good? yeah he's dope yeah. um the executioners were on there that's dope yeah so, uh and uh planet asia bro yeah he's a spitter spitter so I, I you know i produced on that album i was like yo you know what i mean it was a good look man it was a, he's a cool dude man you know i love jf man i love the, the fact that he gave me the opportunity you know what i mean oh yeah shout out to him that's what's up yeah, and I work with um, Hus Kingpin, another monster. Oh, you know what yeah, I mean? that's my dude right there. Yep, yep. Yeah, bro, he's not. And yo, dude, 
that Sunkiss joint, I always tell you, still, bro, that's like oh. one of my favorite joints, bro, that you you did with us, bro. Hey, shout out to Came One, Came One on that sample. I just chopped it up. Yo, so yeah, yeah. Jay, Jay, who, sample, who, who's who are three artists you would like to work with? Man, you want, you know, and I can't work with them because God bless them. Like my favorite MC, or like not my favorite, yeah. Well, my favorite MC of all time is MF Doom. I never, you know what I, I mean? I never got to work with him either. No, and the other two you have, which is Sean Price and Prodigy, bro. Man, Sean Price was not only nasty, he was like the nicest dude too, man. Rest in peace, Sean Price, man. <laughs> No, you told me. Yeah, and then this like there's a lot of other like you know, there's like yo, I'm I'm a huge like like Jada and Styles P. I would love to work with them, man. Like I love Jada Styles. Yeah, my bad. I just hit my uh Are you good? my little thing, yeah. But like yeah, Jada and Styles, bro, like I can really like word. Yeah, myself working with them. Like I hear them. Sometimes when I make a beat, I'm like, damn, I sounds like a Styles beat or something, you know what I mean? But I could definitely hear you work with them. You know what I mean? That I would work with. I would love to work with, but... Word. Yo, so let me um, jump into segue. Uh, I've noticed that you've kind of started making your own samples. So I started noticing you doing that on a couple of the videos, and then you sent me a pack that you did. And, bro, two of those joints in particular... I mean, the whole thing was dope, but two of yeah. them were fucking crazy, bro. So, like, how did you... When did you start doing that? All right, so first off, with that pack, man... If it wasn't for my man Vertigo, my man Edgar, you met him once uh, at our first show that we did. My man, the Dominican God, uh, Vertigo, you know, he's the one that played out like 90% of, of that CinemaScope Volume 1 sample pack. Okay. He's dirty. He's dirty. He could play. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, put our heads together like Quincy Jones and Herbie Hancock. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'd be like, yo, listen to this. Like, you know, we get a lot of ideas. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know, let's go listen to some old Bob James. Let's go listen to some old, you know, whatever. And um, so we would sit down, listen to uh, no soundtrack. And then I'd be like, yeah, let's like kind of do something like that. You know, yeah. he would play, would find the instruments on contact. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, that's how that came came about. And uh, and we got we got some more packs coming soon, man. Me and him, he's a busy dude, man. Not only is he a dope producer. But he's also, um, you know, he's a dope videographer, and he works like he's he's all over the place. And lately, he's been like in Vegas and New York and here and there. You know what I mean? Yeah. But all together and do that. And I do my own samples, and you know, we've talked about this. But when I do my own samples, bro, like if you listen to um, Cinemascope, which if any producer out there want to go listen to a copy, it, it's on my uh, Beat Stars page. You know, they're long; they're like minute, minute and a half. When I do my samples, bro, I, I, I make like four to eight bar loops. Yeah. Okay. So, and, and the greatest thing with, with making loops now these days, bro, is like, you know, I told you like about the helpers, man. You know, like if I want to make something in A minor, yeah. in my bar, I can, I can like light up everything that's, that's going to be in that scale of A minor. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and a lot of it is sound choice to me too. So like, and I love pianos. I love strings. I love bass. I love horns. So I have all those type of instruments all ready to go all the time, you know? Yeah, yeah. And it's it's not easy. It took me to make my first beat, making my own sample was like three months. Yeah. Of me working like at it. And then I was like, oh all right, you know what? I think I could chop this, you know? But <laughs> yeah, just going like the straight up sample packs, I gotta be with my man Edgar. You know what I'm saying? Shout but to make Vertigo. a Yeah, shout out Vertigo. That's my brother, man. Word. That's my bro. Yo, so you yeah. were just saying that they could grab those packs on uh, your beat stars. I wanted to ask where could the beat uh, where could beat makers get your sample packs and your drum kits? Shout, it, let us know. Yeah, uh, it's at my beat stars. It links in my bio uh, on my Instagram page on uh, on my page here. Uh, yeah, if you go on my bio, you'll see it. It says like you know, uh, uh, beat stars. Click that, I, and and for rappers too. I got to re up on there, man. Like I had some beats up, they sold. And um, I haven't read up in a while. I just been like really busy, just trying to make, 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 and not even like you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But links in my bio, brother. So M M MCs are trying to get at you for beats, which they need to do. By the way, if you're spitting, man, I'm telling you, this dude got fire. You probably already know that, but if you don't, go listen to the dudes. Go follow him on Instagram right now, 
and it's, you're going to see for yourself. So if you're telling me MCs can go to that same, the beat stars, that's what everything is. For you. I definitely have to reload. I, 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 I sell beats, yeah. and um, there are cats that hit me up. And, you know, like, if you're serious, and, and, and like, you know, we, we don't do this for free, man. You, you know, know what I mean? Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like for serious inquiries, man. Like because I mean, ninety percent of the time it's like, yo, how much? I give them the price, and it's like. So I think my main thing when I'm just gonna start doing is just I gotta load up my Beat Stars page, yeah. just so I can be like, yo, listen, I have beats on my Beat Stars page. Go check them out. That's my set price. There's no, I don't lease. I've had problems with leasing beats. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So no leasing is straight up buys. My price is set. That's what's been, yo, man. You know what? That's gonna push me right there to actually, like, yeah, I'm gonna load up in the next week. I'll have, I'll have some stuff up. I'll have like 20, 25, 30 beats up there. You heard the man. Go check for that when it's when it's up there. Um, yeah. All right. So let me. I'm not gonna keep you all night. I know you're a fam, family man like myself, but and I want to thank you for being here. Um, man. what is some advice? You're very skilled, man. Like I've sat there and done the shows with you. You know what yeah. the fuck you're doing. I consider you more skilled than myself, to be honest. What is Yo, before you come on, we got to do another show soon, man. Oh, you know, I'm always down to rock with you, bro. Yeah, we got two shows, and both of them were dope, man. It was crazy. But, yo, I, uh, yo, you are very skilled, man. Like, I could learn some shit from you, and I plan on getting you to the crib sometime and picking your brain some. Likewise, likewise, brother. What is – thank you. Thank you. Uh, what is some advice you would give beat makers on – what's one thing you would tell them to improve their skills? What's what's one thing you a jewel you could leave them with right here? Yo, one thing that I could say is work at it every day. Like no excuses, man. I got a nine to five, Stu. You know what I mean? I work every day. I have a family. You know, I pick up my daughter at school Monday through Wednesdays. I'm with her. Well, Monday through Fridays. What am I saying? And then um, you know, I'm with them and then I come downstairs. You know, I always make time, yo. Like I have a full time job. I make this like it's my my other job. This is my serious job. My job, yes, it pays the bills. I do my work right. But this job here, I, I treat it like it's my real job. And you just got to work at it every day, yo. I, I feel like I try to learn something every day because if I don't, I'm going to get bored. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like I, I'm, I've mastered this machine. and Like, I always try to learn new things. And, yeah, it's just, and if you're serious about the craft, just go at it every day. Every day, Amen. you know? Amen. Every day. Yes, sir, man. Same thing with me. I've been had a job since I was 16. I just finally been able, thank you, God, going full-time with it the last two years. Same right. thing. You had to do the same thing. You grind on your 9 to 5, and then you put in that extra work. It's like two days. You're working on yeah. this. And it, yes, two jobs. Yo, so Absolutely. yo, any shout-outs? Any shout-outs? Let me know. Who you want to shout-out? I shout out, man, yo, my crew, man, my boys, Chachi, man, Vertigo, my wife, Hillary, that's upstairs, and Brooke, my kids, Isaiah, Jay Lees. Uh, shout out to Stu Bangers, my man. My man. My man. <laughs> uh, there's so many people, man, I can't think, man. My man, Kenny, my man, Rick, my cousin, Bobby. Um, everybody, man. Shout out to everybody, man. Word, yo, I just want to thank you, man. I want to thank you for being here tonight. Everyone, that, everyone that's on here, if you're not, go follow this man. He is nasty on the fucking NPC, yo. If you ain't already, you probably already know. But if you don't, go find out for yourself. If you rap, go get at this man for beats. He got fire. He ain't going to make you break the bank. He ain't going to do it for free. He, he, no. got, he got some fire, though. And if you're a beat maker, go check out his sample pack, his drum kit, and watch him work, man. He can teach you. You can learn something from this man. So I just want to thank you for being here tonight. Appreciate you, brother, for letting me on, man. Oh, man, the pleasure is all mine. Yo, you got a beat loaded up right there? Can we hear something? Uh, I have, yeah, I mean. If you got someone, someone said something. Let, let, let's hear something. In the chat, somebody said something. So if you got something, let's hear it, let's hear it real quick. Did you hear it? That little song. Yo, that bass line I, is crazy, yo. Oh. Pulled through some of my beats and uh, I pulled that up for some reason. But I was like, yo, maybe I'll play some. But 
That was my last one I loaded before I go on. on. Yeah, man. Yo. Uh, yeah, you know, anymore, man. If you, yeah, for, yo, go check me out on my page, man. I, I I try to post a video at least one video a day. Or uh, sometimes I'll skip a day if I'm busy. But yeah, man, go check me out. My man. I appreciate you, brother. Likewise, love you, bro. We'll be talking. We'll talk soon. All right, brother. Peace. Peace, bro. Yep. Peace.